this is Candia with Candia Handsworth Designs and I am in the official classroom for the Sew It and Show It workshops. Today I'm going to take you through the steps of transforming a regular lab coat into something truly unique and phenomenal. So this could be another service that you can add to your embroidery business. I specialize in baby ensembles making baby gift baskets as well as wedding baskets and birthday baskets as well. Alterations is another service that I have recently added and it has proven to be profitable. Let's get started. When a client contacts you for alterations, customizations, and personalizations, you want to really study the item subject of this service. The reason being is because you want to make sure that you're not committing too far ahead to a project that you are unable to deliver on. So you want to pay close attention to exactly what they want and where it's going to be. The sleeves, the, the trim, the pockets, and so forth. The color scheme will be white because the lab coat is white, but it will be accented with black and goldenrod. The alterations will come with the fabrics that we are adding to this lab coat to alter it. We are using a black polka dot and the goldenrod yellow. Plan ahead for the personalization. I went ahead and I marked out the area that the personalization will be in. So I know that when I put the hoop on, it will fit this area right here. So we want the personalization to be bold. Okay, I know offhand these two strips are one and a half inches wide. So that means that I will use a font that's about three inches wide. Alright, so we are complete with the personalization for the shoulder back area and as you can see I went higher. So instead of using the 3 inch height that I had originally wanted to use, I took it all the way up to 5 inches but I did keep the same width. The font that I used is called Lucy Font and it is purchased at PlanetApplique.com. Okay, so we're looking at the front part of the lab coat and I plan to add personalization and embroidery to the front of the lab coat. So first I may add the personalization over the pocket and some kind of embroidered logo or applique to the blank side and then I plan to add some kind of trimming to the chest pocket and the side pockets of the lab coat. And so I'm going to start with the left side of the lab coat where the chest pocket is. I'm going to add embroidery just above the pocket. And to do that, I'm going to remove the stitches here and here in order to fold the pocket down so I can get a nice clean fit for the embroidery design. Okay, so I went on Etsy and I purchased an embroidery design and it's a uh, pocket design and I purchased it from an embroidery designer called Art Apply or Art Apply and I'll post the link below and it is a over the pocket design so it's made to look like the things are peeking out of the pocket but I embroidered it a little bit too high so I'm going to uh, use the fabric to hide the fact that it's not underneath the pocket and it will all tie in. You'll see how I'll make it work. Um, ideally, uh, this embroidery design, it's okay. I mean, I would have liked to see it a bit thicker here. I did have to embroider it like uh, twice to try to um, get it to appear thicker. And still, the uh, black is, you know, seeping through the... Um, the, the, pl the air plugs of the stethoscope. But ideally, I do like the design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the, uh, the fabrics that we are going to use to customize this, and I'm going to make it appear like it's coming out of the pocket. So remember, we're using that black and white polka dot, and the pocket is still down. So I'm going to sew some fabric over, and then I'm going to sew the pocket back in place. like so and then I'll add some trimming onto the pocket and then if I um, take the rest of this fabric and add it to the rest of the pockets the two side pockets and add trimming to match it it will all tie in together
Okay, so we are all done with the customization of the front part of this lab coat. Let's go over it. So for the embroidery part of it where it was a bit too high, I did add the fabric here. And then on the pocket, I added a lace trim. And then down below on the side pocket here, I did the coordinating fabrics. And then I added the lace trim on the pocket there. And on this side, I did something a little bit different where I made the fabrics just on top of each other. But I made them into pen holders, adding the lace trim as well well and then on the sleeves I added the lace trim just to tie in the look overall together yet I have to add the personalization and then finish the final part of customizing this lab coat with the coordinating fabrics all right so we're going to make the ruffle for the lab coat and this is part of the customization of it i'm using the polka dot fabric to start off with this strip is about uh, 10 inches wide and it's just folded over and I have uh, sewn one straight line just a basting stitch just to hold the fabric together I did attach the ruffle foot and it will skip every one ruffle so we'll have a nice tight ruffle here and then we'll do the yellow fabric and then we'll attach them together and then add it to the lab coat Okay, so when you're using your ruffler foot on your JX2517, you want to make sure that your thread and your bobbin thread feeds through, okay? So we have that. And then you want to make sure that your stitch is on a straight stitch. So that would be either 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10 or 11 is kind of pushing it because it is the wider uh, stitch. So I don't generally recommend 10 or 11. So from 6 through 9 is one of the stitches that you want to select on your uh, wheel here, your menu wheel. Then you want to uh, feed it through. Feed it through with the ruffle part of it facing your left and your uh, stitch, your basting stitch, is going to be fed through. And what I recommend is when you feed it through, you want to extend it out. So make sure that it is pulled out entirely like so okay so if you see this is extended out a bit like so okay and then I'm going to just feed it all the way to the bar here it has like a little arm that will catch it like so and then I'm going to put the ruffler foot down which is going to be your presser foot a lever for the most part and then you're going to put your needle in place Okay, and what I recommend is starting off very slowly. You don't want to just start really fast or press down. Just start just to see what's happening here. And for the most part, this is set on uh, a ruffle every one stitch. So I'm going to hold it, and I'm hoping that you can see it. I don't want to block it with my hand. And I'm going to just start very slowly. And... Actually, that wasn't real slow. But as you can see, that is doing its thing. And what happens is all you have to do is from that point on is just pull it on through and allow the ruffler foot to do its thing. Okay, so I went ahead and I ruffled the yellow fabric and I also sewed it or attached it to the uh, ruffled black and white polka dot fabric. Okay, so this is all one piece now. And then because this is going inside of the lab coat, I'm going to trim this area. You see this fraying area? Because it's going inside of the lab coat, I'm going to cover it like so on the reverse side with this binding tape just so it has a neat appearance um, inside of the lap jacket okay so I wanted to point out that I did trim off the fraying edge that was there before and I'm going to add some fray check to it so I'm just going to just add it along and allow it to dry and then I'm going to add the seam binding from behind onto the lap coat like so 
Okay, so here's the finished product, and by now you've probably figured out that this is for a young lady and not an adult, but she is participating in an award ceremony where she will be honored, and uh, her mom wanted something truly unique and customized for her. So we took an ordinary lab coat and we customized it with her favorite colors, which is the goldenrod yellow with the combination of the black and white polka dots, and we added lace trimming. And we also added the fabric as well as the embroidery designs. Now, the embroidery designs, I will post the link below um, from Etsy. And this is an over pocket embroidery design. This font looks very similar to this font, but it is not the same font. This font was purchased from Jolson's Designs, while this font on the tote and on the back of the lab coat was purchased from Planet Applique. However, if you look closely, the ends are very similar. The other letters are not that much similar, but the ends were very similar, and that was a selling factor for me. Now, on the back of this, I added the medical symbol, and this was a great deal because this came in six sizes. I purchased this off of Etsy and it was under three dollars all around i've added the double ruffle as you can see with the co coordinating colors which really ties this in all together and i also wanted to point out that when you are making customizations alterations even personalizations if you're just adding personalization to an item not necessarily that you carry but you are uh, providing services for you always want to add your tags and um once again this is just an awesome service to add to your embroidery business because it is uh, it does have that embroidery the sewing the alterations and it can literally turn a simple item such as a lab coat into a keepsake well that's all for today thank you so much for joining in and you can always find me at candiahainsworth.com or candia at candiahainsworth.com which is my email or you can join us on facebook at Embroidery Boss. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, post your comments and your suggestions below, and I'll see you next time.